while the team charter aids in aligning the team and the impacted parties around why a process must change and what it must change to, the voice of the customer and the voice of the business tool ensures that the needs of both parties are being heard and acted upon in such a way as to not do damage to the other. This tool, also known as the acronyms VOC and VOB, identifies gaps between what the customer would like and the desires of the business. Think of this as a scale with the business needs on one side and the customer needs on the other. If companies only focus on business needs, there won't be any customers. If the customer needs are the only priorities, then the business will be driven to the ground. This tool is used to find a balance between the two. The first step is to capture the voice of the customer, which is an actual customer statement that reflects their perception of a product or service, such as, your service center is a pain to deal with. Using that statement, develop the key customer issue, which is void of emotion or bias, and describes the primary issue a customer may have with the product or service, such as, service experience is too confusing and time-consuming. Finally, translate this key issue into a critical customer requirement, or CCR, which is the customer's value proposition. It is a measurable and specific expectation the customer has of the product or service, such as service process to take no more than five steps. Identifying critical business requirements requires a similar process. Start by capturing the voice of the business, which is an actual employee statement that reflects their perception of a product or service, such as, I don't know what price to charge the customer. Using this statement, develop the key business issue, which is void of individual divisional agendas, and describes the primary issue a company may have with the product or service, such as internal pricing systems are not aligned. Finally, translate the key business issue into a critical business requirement, or CBR, which is the business's value proposition, such as all internal systems reflect the same price per service or product. Once critical customer and critical business requirements have been identified, translate these requirements to critical to quality and critical to process measures. For example, let's think about customer expectations for a cup of hot chocolate. The voice of the customer could be, I want a hot cup of hot cocoa. Next, think about how you could measure this necessity to be hot and obtain the critical customer requirement. Most likely, you would use a thermometer to measure temperature. Finally, you need to attain the right specifications or critical-to-quality terms to deliver the expected product. You may decide a temperature between 120 degrees and 140 degrees does the trick. Review the critical to quality and critical to process specifications to make sure things are in balance. The VOC VOB tool helps you to know who your customer is and what is truly important so that you can measure performance.